Intel processor N100 with 4 E cores performs on par with 65W core, i5-7400 at just 6 watts. Intel's older Lake N CPUs have been out for a while and benchmarks of the processor N100 show performance similar to older core, i5 chips at sub, 10W. Intel older Lake N, processor N100, features 4 E cores, 65W quad-core performance at just 6W. The Intel processor N100 is one of the four older Lake N chips that are available for low-power platforms. The chips are based on the same Intel 7 process node as the rest of the older Lake and Raptor Lake chips, but the main difference is that instead of using a hybrid P-core and E-core combo, these chips rely solely on the Gracemorn E-cores. This takes away their SMT capabilities since the E-core design lacks them. In terms of specifications, the Intel processor N100 CPU offers four cores, four threads, a 6 MB smart cache, and a maximum frequency of 3.40 GHz. The N200 is the fastest of the two and offers the same specs but with a 3.70 GHz clock speed. The chip has a TDP of 6W and supports DDR4, DDR5, and up to LPDDR5 memory in single channel. Based on some of the recent Geekbench 6 entries, we get a taste of what the sub 10W CPU has to offer. In terms of single core performance, the chip yields a performance score of 1,300 points, and in multi threaded tests, this score extends to 3,450 points. For comparison, we can use scores from the Core i5 7400 and Core i3 9100, both of which are four core and four thread offerings, too. The single core tests for these chips are rated at an average of 1139, 1343 points in single core and 3133 or 3598 points in multi threaded tests. So we can see that the Intel Alder Lake N, processor N100, competes on par with these chips, but the most important thing is that these older 14 nanometers chips had a base TDP rating of 65W and they ran close to 80 90W in actual workloads. Meanwhile, the processor N100 has a TDP of just 6W and this goes off to show how E-cores can deliver good multi-threading performance, while keeping chips efficient. Intel has now been using E-cores on two generations, Alder Lake and Raptor Lake, and will continue doing so in the future while AMD also plans to adopt a similar approach for its future CPU lineups.